uh hi guys my name is narayan and i hope all of you are doing well and uh, i welcome all of you in this video once again and uh, in this video i'm going to talk about uh, bgp peers which is also known as neighbors so before going further i would like to introduce you about my channel so i have a youtube channel which is uh, totally based on ccna and mcitp uh if my videos are helpful for you guys uh, please uh subscribe my channel and comment on my videos i uh, like my videos and don't forget to share my videos so that it may reach to other people also they may also learn so for that you just need to go to youtube and type my name narayan baghel and hit enter so on the top my channel will come uh, so far i have uploaded 252 videos because uh, i don't get proper time to prepare videos i'm just trying to take out little bit time and make some videos for you guys so please subscribe my channel for more updates and keep watching so now in this video we are going to learn about the neighbors or how it creates a relationship with the other routers on the network so we will begin this one so first of all here for bgp to function bgp routers called speakers so if we talk about the routers if we have routers here i will talk about i will show you here for example this this we have six or five routers here so routers will be called as speakers here and must form neighbor relationship called peers so the relations relationship is called peers here this is the relationship you can see this router is connected with this router and this router is connected here so it will be called as peers here in this I, uh, vgp uh, border gateway protocol so basically it creates two type of neighbor relationship the first one is ivgp peers and second one is e vgp peers so if we talk about this uh, i bgp peers so it will create a, a relationship within same autonomous system okay so you should be very careful about this one uh, bgp neighbors within the same autonomous system i will explain you next next slide what does it mean and the second one will uh, create a relationship with separate autonomous system so this is what uh, difference between we have here uh, between uh, i uh, BGP and EVGP peers. Okay, uh, you should not confuse your uh, between like uh, do not confuse an IGP such as OSPF. Okay, uh, I'm talking about this one. It is not just like OSPF with I BGP. I'm talking about the same thing. You should not be confused uh, with uh, about this OSPF and IGP. It is a bit different. Now we will see here how. We will try to understand both uh, peers here or both relationship here. So, in this uh, picture, router B and C, I'm talking about, uh, let me take a different color here. I'm talking about router B and router C. Okay, if we see here, so this is my router B and this is my router C. Okay, in AS200, so as you can see here, this is a AS autonomous system 200, would form an IGP peer relationship as I told you I uh, BGP peers it will create relationship within the uh, within the same autonomous system so here the two uh, AS200 is the same autonomous system so it is creating peer relationship here okay now we will see a little more here router A in AS autonomous system 100 and router B in autonomous system 200 would form an EBGP peering as you see here router B here uh, is uh, in uh, AS200 and router A here is in AS100 so it will create a EBGP peering so I hope this uh, uh, will not make any confusion and very clear uh, what is the difference between IBGP and EBGP peering here now we will see few more things here once uh, BGP peer form a neighbor relationship they share full routing table okay so if they have created or they have uh, maintained or they have established a neighbor relationship they will share full routing table afterward only changes to the routing table are forwarded to peer so uh, it will update whatever information is here it will be updated to this router but if there is any change in the routing information or whatever data is here it will forward that change to the uh, never router it will not forward entire routing table next thing 
IVGP PS do not have loop re uh, hope restriction so if we talking uh, if we talk about this uh, IVGP which is our interior uh, water gateway protocol peer relationship so there is no res restriction of hope and are dependent on the underlying IGP of the AS to connect PS together so the main thing is it is it is not limited to, uh, to hope or there is no restriction to this one uh, hope next thing about this by default all IBGP PS must be fully maged within the autonomous system so it should be fully maged I will uh, show you in next videos how it create and what are the requirement to be a uh, create uh, to create a maged, uh, fully maged uh, uh, network or how to configure it and if we talk about little bit more here a Cisco routing run, uh, router running BGP can belong to only one AS if we have configured or we have a network where we have enabled BGP so it, it will belong to a single AS only only one the iOS will only allow one BGP process to run on one router. So one router can run only one BGP process. And if we talk about the administrative distance, the administrative distance for uh, routes learned uh, outside the autonomous system. Okay, we are talking about exterior is 20. While we, if we talk about the interior or iBGP, uh, it is 200. So, it will be uh, internal okay internal autonomous system so the uh, uh, the ADA's administrative distance is 200 so for EGP it is 20 and IGP it is 200 so we should not be any confusion so guys in this video this much only I hope this video will be uh, informative for you people if it is informative for you please don't forget to subscribe my channel comment on this video and share this video so that it may reach to the next people also and they may also learn from uh, my channel till then bye bye next we uh, uh, wait for my next video in next video I will be talking about a uh, few more topics on the same 